Hello and welcome again to a short film series presentation on GEA Press and Small Axe Productions. Here we are going to examine the liquor policies of various uh, liquor stores. Uh, we wanted to highlight this young lady who had been a television personality here in the DFW area and apparently opted out of that career to go on the internet and to become an internet sensation uh, parading her body before us. And today we're going to examine the liquor policies of Total Wines and more. And just to serve a little entertainment, we'll throw her in for you again. But what we want to speak of is the fact that Total Wines and more, which is a chain of liquor stores, which is owned by Congressman uh, David Schroen and his brother, and out of Maryland. Congressman Stone um, got elected in 2016 in a gerrymandered district. I think it's the 6th district uh, of Maryland. Um, he had previously spent millions of dollars, millions of dollars of his own money, uh, in excess of $35 million to try to procure this seat in the House of Representatives. Um, prior to that, I think the congressman and his family have been the ones going around the United States of America pushing to reverse blue laws. And those are laws, not just blue laws, but dry state laws. Wherever there is a dry state in the Union of the United States of America, a place where you cannot buy alcohol, you cannot buy liquor, Congressman Trone uh, is, I think that's his mission in Washington, near the law uh, to go in and subvert those restrictions and to undermine the moral and the Christian moral fabric of those communities and those societies. No doubt, wherever you will find his total wine and more stores, where they have opened up, for example, in Texas, certain dry counties, there have been an increase in alcoholism. And particularly now with COVID-19, it has even gotten worse. And um, people's families have been destroyed because of this poison of this alcohol. But of particular interest to us is the manner in which the national corporate policy of Total Wines and More has a very uh, ethnic tint, a very racist tint to it. And it comes across, and they're not the only ones, this is something we're discovering in the liquor business and we're documenting and we're bringing it to light, is that the people out there maintain and claim, and if you ask them to show you the statistics, uh, they don't have it to show you, but they say that they their biggest theft is in Hennessy. Their biggest theft is in Ciroc. Their biggest theft is um, Grey Goose. And I know black people don't even gray, drink Grey Goose anymore. African Americans, they've moved on to other drinks. And then um, for that reason, they have the smallest bottle of Hennessy that costs about $5 under lock and key. And you have to wait at the cashier and ask them to go and fetch that bottle for you. And while you wait, it doesn't matter how line, long the line is, but in each of his stores, he kept the Hennessy and, well, now what he did with the Grey Goose and with the Ciroc, he put anti-theft devices on the covers, okay? And the perception, and we have had a witness, an employee at Total Wines and More, in prior years said to us in code that certain people steal certain things. And what that employee meant was that black people still surround, still, um, what's the other one? Grey goose, which we know we all have moved on past the goose. And, um, but most of all, Hennessy. And you know, everybody don't drink Hennessy. And then of course, by implication, he's also saying that Africans still Hennessy, because, you know, a lot of Africans um, talk about Hennessy that they drink, and when they have a party, they big, big, big bottles of Hennessy. And so we 
that we need to examine closely these policies which are inherently racist and which continue to show you how institutionalized racism and racial perceptions work. So we are calling on the African American community and we're saying to you men like David Throne, so-called liberals, have no love for the United States, have no love for us, no love for the citizens. Here you see the various leakers that's locked up and you can see here the smallest bottle of Hennessy is locked up and they have a bell. They put a sign, you must ring a bell for them to come and get it for you. And then when they come and get it for you, you are not permitted to walk it to the register. They will bring it to the register for you. Now we will show you in our documentary series that that doesn't hold true for all liquor stores and for all chains. And we'll show you that Mr. Trone and his brother, um, I forgot the first name of his brother, but it's David and another brother. Uh, they claim to be of Jewish ancestry. He's given over $20 million to APAC, the American-Israeli um, uh, Public Action Committee or something like that. But anyway, it's an influential Jewish political group here in the United States of America. And then this man says he's going to Congress to deal with health. $18 million could have given scholarships of care to thousands of working struggling citizens of this country. These men who make their wealth of and say they're going to die and leave money for charity like Bill Gates and Buffett, they're all liars. They're all liars. They will give to a political cause. The way that Bloomberg spent half a billion dollars for a race he couldn't win. You know damn well if Bloomberg cared about people, if Bloomberg cared about the world, Bloomberg could have used, look at that young beautiful woman again. She is thick as thick can be. And she opted out of her career in television to become, and you know, if she might come and complain about taking her photos, she didn't put any disclaimer on there. But there she looks in clothes and all she is, um, pushing on the public is mass seduction and saying, look at my anal posterior. Here again, we continue with our investigation of Total Wines and More. And this is the checkout process. As you will see, the employees themselves are clueless. They themselves are in and without understanding fully what is going on part and parcel of the, what we call, uh, the institutionalized racism. And here we're having a conversation and asking this young woman, you know, what she knows or what she thinks, but she looked like she's more interested in, in, in flirting than in dealing with the political issues and the implication of total wines and more Hennessy policy. She's oblivious to it. She thinks it's just okay. So she works there for less than a livable wage. And you can see from her presentation, her hair, her nails, she probably can't afford to do all that on the money she makes. But that's the life and the time we live in. Everyone is glamorous. So there she is enforcing and being part of the institutionalized racism as advanced by Total's Wine and More. And this is a corporate policy. This comes straight from the desk of David Throne. Just because he's a Democrat, you think, oh, they're Democrats, they're not racist. The Democrats are the leading racists in the world. Mr. Throne, by his policy of wanting only to sell you and to keep and to tell you, you kind of asking the young lady, you know, what's going on? She's talking to me. Um, Mr. Throne alleged against us, which we won't talk about here, but we'll talk about it in a different venue. But here we just want to show you our interaction with Mr. Throne's people, and they're not even wearing their masks. Take it down because 
to see their pretty smile. So anyway, we want to know that Total Wines and More is a racist place. Total Wines and More is a place where you shouldn't be buying wine, alcohol, liquor. You better off going to the native neighborhood Indian grocery or even to um what's that liquor store down there? Not 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 specs. Specs have a similar policy. Uh, you can go to Costco. You can go to um oh what's the name of it? There's another Jewish company down in Houston. Uh, Ralston's. You can go to Ralston's. You've been people treated better in the ghetto at Ralston's than you will at Total Wines and More. And there is Dimitri again, beautiful as ever, portraying her body at no price, for free, on Facebook, on Instagram, and shooting these sexualized photos of herself and giving it to the world for free in her effort to seduce all of humanity. God bless you. Boycott Total Wines. David Throne is a racist. David Throne is a racist.